Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to fully install and set up the plugin Auto Input for Tasker. But before we start, I just want to let you know that I have created a website called taskerprojects.com where you can order any custom projects you would like. So if you have any project idea, you can visit this website and I will create and set it up for you. So let's first open the Google Play Store. Let's click on the search button and let's search for Auto Input. So it's the first thing that popped up. Let me install it. After it's installed, we will simply open it. And from now we will need to allow everything that it asks for. So for example, these notifications I will allow. Uh, here I will click OK. So on the first launch of this app, we will see a button on the top that says unlock fully. I highly recommend uh, unlocking this application fully else you will have uh, problems in the future. Let's look at the not enabled. We will need to enable this application, so let's see how this is done. You will click on this uh, red text and you will click OK. Here you always need to select installed apps, so I will click installed apps and I will just search for auto input and I will allow. Let's click allow. Now if I go back as you can see, it says Auto Input Accessibility Service is enabled. So that's this. That's the accessibility. Now I will open the application information and I will go to Change System Settings. I will allow it. I will also allow to appear on top. And I will also allow uh, here. In battery, I will click unrestricted. That's also very important. So that's basically it. Now we can do a little test. So I will click on tasker. I will create a new task. Let's call it auto input testing. Let's click the tick icon. So let's add an action. Let's click on the plugin. Let's click on auto input. And let's click on Actions version 2. Let's click on the Configuration Pencil. So let's do a little test now. So I will click to Actions to perform. I will click on Yes, I don't need help. Here basically you can create any type of macro or something uh, where you wait for an element to appear or click an element. Let's do a little test. I will click on button. So I will click, I will select the click action and I will click the find. Now let's click on this videos section. So I will position it on the video section on the videos button and I will click the blue box. Here I will select the element and I will select the first thing. I will select the videos, the text. I want to click the text. I will click OK and let's click the first found and do now and as you can see it worked now I will click now I will click uh, I don't want more actions OK I will go back to tasker click the tick icon click back and now I have done a task uh, where this task just clicks the videos but obviously this is not everything that you would need to create and bot that would uh, normally do something useful. So I will repeat once again, if you want to create any custom project, just go to taskerprojects.com and I will create the project for you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.